Hello, Alicia and Alicia's parents. This is Dr. Gay, and I want to say thank you guys so much for coming in. And now I'm excited to show you the inside of your knee so you understand a little bit better what is happening. So here we go. This is a view of you. The very back here is where the table is. This is the very front where your kneecap is. So right here is your patella or your kneecap. And right here in the middle is the femur, that thigh bone. And I can see there's one problem. Everything else is normal, but right up here below the patella, along the outer side, there's bright stuff right here. On this sequence, everything should be dark. All this fat around here should be dark. The muscles are dark. And in this area here, there's fat that should be dark, but instead it's bright. So what's happening is your fat is inflamed right here. And we call this fatty impingement. So it's the mechanics of your patella. When your patella rubs along on this femur, this is part of the femur that it glides along on. As it rubs there, it has abnormal mechanics of stress, and it's pinching the fat right here. We call this, again, fatty impingement, and you get pain in the anterior knee. And I can show you a, a side view here. This is the one where you can see the kneecap over here on the side, and we can see the quadriceps tendon coming down to the top of the kneecap. We have the patellar tendon coming down here, and this whole area here, this triangle, or square rather, is called Hoffa's fat pad, and in the Hoffa's fat pad along the outer side, there's this gray area. That's where that fat is getting impinged. Here's another view of the same thing. We see the patella here. If we go off towards the lateral side, you see all this bright stuff here? That's the inflammation and irritation of that fat that's getting pinched between the kneecap and the femur here. And the other thing I notice is your patellar tendon from here to here is developmentally long. Normally it's a little bit shorter and the patella, instead of being so high, rides a little bit lower. It's the, the articular surface here is more along the articular surface of the femur. But when the patella is long like this and the patella is high, we call this patella alta, A-L-T-A. And that can sometimes cause mechanical problems with the patella and it can even be associated with this fatty impingement like this. So that is what is going on there. And if you go to any orthopedic surgeon, they'll be able to talk to you about that and give you advice as to you know, what sort of brace to wear or whatever to do to get that treated. And that's about it. This is your ACL right here. This band is your ACL. Looks great. Your medial side of the femur looks good. Lateral side looks good. You can see this little black wedge here. That's the lateral meniscus. Looks perfect. Medial meniscus looks perfect. Here's the medial meniscus. And then just one last view here. We're looking straight dead on in yourself. Here's your femur up top, your tibia down below. And we can see both the menisci. The medial meniscus, this little black wedge, looks great. And this little black wedge is the lateral meniscus. And your menisci look great. This is a little, what we call a bone island. Just an instant little area of dark bone. Not a big deal. But anyway, normal knee except for that uh, fatty impingement in the high-riding patella. So thank you so much and hope you have a great day.